Okay, so last time around we downloaded and set up and configured our MAMP environment and what we're going to do this time is set up a WordPress installation on our local host. So the first thing you need to do is go over to wordpress.org and hit the download tab and from there you can either choose to download the current version which at the time of this video is 2.9.2 or what I actually did was I actually went over to the nightly builds here and you can go down if you want and try the latest nightly build uh, for version 3 which is going to be on that link there and so that's what I did I got the latest version from there so let's just close that tab there for a second I'm gonna hide the browser and we have MAMP running I'm just gonna hide that so what you end up with is this downloaded WordPress zip file and here's our folder our HD docs folder you may remember from MAMP HD Docs and then the UI bus, that's where we're going to put this site and we're actually going to put this WordPress blog in here so I'm going to double click to expand this here and it's going to open up a folder with all the files for a WordPress installation so all I'm going to do is I am just going to select all of these files and I'm just going to drag and drop them into the UI bus folder so now we can get rid of this empty folder here. So we actually have all the files we need now inside the UI Buzz folder on our local host. Now the only problem here of course is nothing configured at the moment and what you need to do is to configure WordPress. You know this is not going to be a, a video on the ins and outs of WordPress just to get one running here. The first thing you need to do is have the configuration file set up and a database. So what we need to do is go back to MAMP and set up that blank database. So what I'm going to do, go back over to the MAMP application and I'm just going to open the start page and you can see that what we have here now is we can go into PHP my admin and you don't need to worry about a lot of what you see here. I will mention right now though that the MAMP installation uses the root username and password which is really only good for local hosted development. You should never ever allow the public access to this particular setup because a lot of the security has been set up for convenience of just development and testing and it's not rock solid you know public hosted websites. So with that said we're going to create a new database here for our WordPress blog. I'm just going to call it uibuzz underscore sample. Hit create that's it we are done so what we need to do now is I am just going to go back over to the finder here and I'm going to look for the configuration file and they actually give you this one called WP config sample first thing you need to do is rename that to WP config now what you're going to do is I'm just going to use you can use any text editing program I'm just going to use text edit here to show you and let's just move this over here there's just a few little changes you need to make. You need to tell WordPress how to get access to this database. So the first thing it's going to ask you for is the database name and what you need to do is just replace this little string here with in this case UI buzz underscore sample. The username is going to be root because that's the default that we get with MAMP and the password we will also make that root and now I'm just going to save that configuration file and that's done so let's go ahead and close that now all of this is basically the standard installation routine that you have to perform when installing a WordPress blog anywhere and what you need to do now is you'll see that in the WP admin folder if we scroll down is this install.php file and that's what we need to run so what we need to do now is we need to go back over to our local host here and replace this with our site name which you remember is UI buzz that folder that we created and forward slash WP admin and then forward slash again and in fact actually you can just do it like that and the first thing it's going to see is it'll say well hang on we're not configured and set up so I'm going to run the install PHP file so what we need to do now is go through and set up this blog. I'm just going to give it the name UI Buzz. The username, uh, we'll just leave that as admin for now. Uh, password that you're going to put in twice, 
for the sake of development, you know, might as well keep it simple because this is not going to be public pointing at any stage here. So just remember what that password is. You'll need to use that and put in an email address. And the reason for that email address is it's going to send this information to that email address for your login. I'm actually going to turn off, and I recommend to do this, the allow my site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati because this is just a locally hosted development site. And, you know, a day later, two minutes from now, a week from now, I may trash this thing entirely. So I certainly don't want it listed or indexed anywhere. And I'm just going to hit install WordPress. WordPress is going to do its thing. And it's done. So it says success. The username is admin plus the password and to log in. So we'll go to login. I'll put in the username admin plus the password that I created. I'm going to click this little remember me too and click login. And that's it. There we, now we have our locally hosted WordPress blog. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to right click and open link in new tab just to show you that it's working. And so there it is. This is the nightly build of WordPress 3. But as you can see, it's localhost 8888 8 forward slash UI buzz. And that's our locally hosted solution in that folder inside MAMP.